Arcane Season 2 Episode 7 took a leap of faith and crafted an episode that upon first glance might have seemed unneeded, or at least was given more time than we should have spent in alternate reality when our protagonists were struggling in the actual one. Yet, by doing so, they proved again to be genius storytellers, masterful narrators who treat their viewers as intelligent spectators who will understand just how necessary this was to provide contrast between the tragic world of arcane events and events that could have been. Having done so, they created a masterpiece of a scene and a single best scene in season two, as well as one of the best episodes, which was designed to take a step back from the sisters and instead focus on something else. Let's talk about Echo and Powder Dance scene. In this alternate reality, things are different. Zone is not less than Piltover. Things are thriving. All it somehow took was for Vi to die in season 1 explosion. In this version of reality, Silco read the letter Vander sent him. Heimerdinger arrived and spent decent three years of what we can assume to be not only following his musical passions, but also actually helping out. Echo is an inventor, so is Jinx, who never became Jinx. She's now Powder. Klagor and Milo are alive. Silco and Vander are still friends. But from individual perspective, Echo's point of view, what changed most was his relationship with Powder. Here, they are not enemies, they're a couple. And what was a heartbreaking fight scene between them in season 1, also episode 7, turned into a dance between them. Scenes created exactly as that, a contrast, ultimate opposite of what actually happened. Young Powder and Echo were friends, played together, fought together, danced together. Young Echo probably had a crush on Powder, but Arcane events never allowed for us to develop this. What we did get in Season 1 was them being on opposite sides, them being false. But in this reality, Echo and Powder fell in love. For our version of Echo, it's all new. And who he assumed to be his enemy is now his partner. It takes him a second, but he caves in and allows himself for once to see what could have been, how happy he potentially could have become at the same time realizing just how much he lost. The true tragedy of this scene is exactly that it's on borrowed time. Echo knows he does not belong here. He knows he has to leave. He knows he could stay and lead a happy life, but that's not him. I've never seen you give up on anything, Echo. Echo is both winning and losing. Their dance scene was animated in full frames per second in order to show just how much Echo wanted to stay in that moment. 4 seconds It's also the exact amount of seconds Z-Drive allows him to go back. For Powder, it was just another day with her boyfriend. Just another dance. Just another kiss. For him, it was everything that could have been. All that he lost. All that he was about to lose again. It's ultimate karma too, because looking back at Arcane Season 1, it was actually his very own actions that led to all of the Season 1 events. The fact that he followed Jace to his lab and told Vi about a possible heist. The dance between Echo and Powder is spectacular. It's decadent, it's nihilistic. They dance like there is no tomorrow, which is actually the case. Dance often serves a greater purpose in movies. It shows state of mind of the characters. It allows for them to dissolute, overindulge in sensual pleasures as exact opposite of what is happening in their lives. Characters lose themselves in what often is their last dance. The sheer onerism of the way the scene is crafted visually is stunning as well. Everyone else disappears. Does not matter. To them all that matters is they're together now. Most of all it matters to Echo. Echo knows he has to go away. He knows in another reality Jinx is not his partner. Not even close. Song that plays underlines it very well with its lyrics too. Mais si tu cherches encore ma voix, ou pire moi, le pire c'est toi et moi. Which translates to, if you're still searching for my voice, forget me. The problem, it's you and me. Song is both upbeat and sad, which even more underlines the inner struggle Echo is going through. Struggle that reaches its climax when Powder wants to kiss him. Like certainly she did many times before, but for him, it's the first time they kiss. Actually both first and last. Later on, we see him sitting in the exact same spot, but alone. Mourning the loss he went through, loss no one else knows of. And it's not just the loss of powder either, it's also the loss of zone he always dreamt of. Zone that is free of inequalities, a prospering city. 
Echo gave up the most and he did it to save Jinx, but he had to leave Powder behind. Sometimes taking a leap forward means leaving a few things behind. <laughs>